Alright guys, so let's continue with the Skellig story. Firstly, let's go inside and find better clothes. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Okay, do we have a few options or just one? Uh, it seems... Not for the pants, but for the tunics we have few options. Right. It's not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? To Saya DeVries, the poison source turns to it for inspiration okay maybe something else that we can examine her megascope guess she never goes anywhere without it as Philippa Eilhart said megascopes and toothbrushes deeply personal possessions <laughs> if you say so <laughs> um, okay Lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on, taste hasn't changed. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Hmm, the stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. <laughs> so that's the that one. Okay. Well, I will join you when I get to the castle and start with the quest properly. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. <laughs> I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? <laughs> Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. That supper knives are good for picking your teeth, sir. Cox. Okay. So we are just following the queen, it seems. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm, must say it suits you. Nice. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. 
That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. <laughs> Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! Seems that it is time to win the race. We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Only two of us? Hurry it up, old man! Didn't they say that they will all race together? Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's maybe even easier this way, just two of us. Oh! Almost turned off the path. I thought they will make it a little bit harder. So I thought that I will need to jump over some ledges of the mountains. But it seems it's only stairs and just a few jumps over the rocks. Nothing too special. And I'm already close. Okay. So this is it. Yes. I won, but only by a hair. Not exactly, no but thing. okay. <laughs> there's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That would likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Uh. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. Well, if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Well, uh, uh, that's intriguing. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. 
calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. <laughs> Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Lord Skelliger's called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindisfial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plough your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Really? Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Did this have to happen? I do not even understand. But okay. Come on. Someone has ran into the next fight. He was breaking black fat necks yesterday. And suddenly this. Okay. Beat the bastard down. If you don't, I fucking will. Come on. And. Okay, finally. Had enough? Ah, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even <laughs> then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your poor witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you but a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Mm. Is this for the drink? No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. Fear to your wenches. Oh. Although the Witcher cannot get drunk, is that correct? Or it's just much harder for what him? Now? Hmm. now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. <laughs> okay. And we made it, Fox right? Toast. Yes. Oh, come on, look at those boots. It looks ridiculous. Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. While Star leaves, 
chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> um, was it that fast? Really? How is that even possible? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> this will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Okay. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Or just trying to. I don't know if I'll visit this place again, so... Let's just collect everything. Okay, this is locked, of course. Amazing a hobby can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Okay. A basin of water. Teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Looks alive. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Okay, what am I missing? There must be one more thing. Come on. Mm. Oh, the entrance, right. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Okay. Why did you come in closer? They're everywhere. Come on. Okay. Strange. Smells like mushrooms in here. No. To my mind, it's the set of Is that everyone? Nope. Um Okay. And the last one. Come here. Okay, that's everyone. So, we can enter now or what? What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing, I had to calm you. What? Must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Nice. Let's go inside, Geralt. I do agree on that. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. 
Hmm. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of Urboros must be here. Yes. Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids. Warms Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlow. A biography enhanced. <laughs> Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. A child's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. <laughs> Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Um, skull, probably. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Okay. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. So the third option which I don't have at the moment. Need something else. Gotta look around. Okay. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. <laughs> a sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. <laughs> okay, okay. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. Um, is this going to be... Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. So this is going to be the last. Dwarven Triple Mead. Okay. So it would seem that that's one that is going in the hand. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Okay, nice. Just a little bit more well hidden, not in the main room, of course. This is it! We've got it! We must return to the feast quickly before... Careful now. Oh, great. Just wonderful. Okay, with Yennefer it should be easy. But I do not think that it is going to be that easy. Okay, it actually is. Nice. Um, nothing yeah, else here? Smelled it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. And what is that? Nope. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Oh no. Hold on tight. 
And why did you ask me? Why wouldn't you think of something? <sighs> Damn. I tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute. I must mend it. Do you? You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. <laughs> oh Wait. yeah. For what? We must talk to Krak. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> when are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. Is that so? Yen, yeah, let go of the mane. I know you. I let go, you throw us off. <laughs> Don't even try. My, oh my. Missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> we ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Kraken Create asked about you. We went out. For a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will.
<laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> May the best man a woman win. Win in what? What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to Speakerog. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ciri, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word, I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ard Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms, right on natural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an Art Skellig on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. Whereas Ceres announced that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Arts Gellig. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? 
You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Okay, so one of many quests in the main story on Skellige, well, it is done and we will continue in the next episode.